Games deliver stories in different ways, depending on genre, pacing, theme, and so on. One way of doing so is exposition. Other is leaving crumbs of it throughout the game in forms of books, scrolls, riddles, or just short and cryptic dialogues. When Elder Ring first came out, there was some discussion on whether its lore delivery method was good or bad. It is not clearly recited to the player, but communicated through different mediums, be it environment, art, or dialogue lines. Many players are also resigned to YouTube videos as their way of understanding Elden Ring lore. Me being one of those people, I wondered if this part of Elden Ring could be improved a bit. Then I remembered museums and tour guides, and made this. This is Forge of the Giants. It is a place of great historical and mythological significance in the lands between, at the easternmost peak of the mountaintops of the giants. The last remaining fire giant stands guard here. This is my idea of transforming the lands between into a lore tour. So how does this work? The initial plan was to make this work only for bosses. You enter a boss room and audio would give you some info about the boss, its lore, or maybe even some tips. But then I thought the game already has intros for most bosses, plus it wouldn't really make sense listening to lore while you're fighting a boss with the theme music in the background. So my plan changed to this being more of a tour guide or a visit to a museum experience. You'd reach some location and get a prompt that there is something to learn about it. Translate it into more technical steps, player enters some area, program detects frames surrendered on the screen and matches them to some list of prepared images and plays the audio related to the matched image. It actually turned out to be really easy once I lost a couple of days figuring out how to compare two images in Python. Render a pop-up once they match and play melana shaped audio talking about the location or the thing you're staring at. My first thought was object detection. So I looked for some approaches and learned about template matching and AI object detection. I really did not want to get into AI because I did not want to deal with training my own model with my own images for the things I needed it to recognize. In my mind, I just needed a simple solution that would figure out if two images, my current frame and my base image are similar enough. This led me to some solutions with image hash comparison and similarity index. But these were just way too inconsistent, or I had no clue how to adapt them to my use case properly. But I did discover this godsend article, histogram-based image comparison, which means capturing pixel distribution of an image and comparing it to pixel distribution of another image. Although it did not work perfectly, it proved to be the most consistent option for what I needed. Even with that, it still failed to be consistent with environments. For example, it would detect Limgrave in Liurnia, Round Table Hold at some random location, and so on. However, it was very good with distinct images. For example, Forge of the Giants or Renala. Probably because these areas had pretty distinct features about them that would be really hard to match somewhere else in the world. Then I remembered that for locations, I can just use in-game text. As you already know, each time you zone into some area, you get this text across your screen describing where you are. This meant I just had to find out some reliable optical character recognition or OCR method and I'd be good to go. I experimented a bit with PyTestract, but that did not work. It was getting confused by font family or something. However, I already used a library that kind of supports this, PyAutoGUI. This thing has a locate on screen method, which will find things on screen based on some template. So then I just had to get all the text, edit it to minimize noise, and there you go, text recognition with PyAutoGUI. In the end, I used image histogram comparison for distinct locations, for example, coming up to Forge of the Giants, and PyAutoGUI for detecting when player zones into some area. This works both when teleporting to the area or just wandering into it. With that working, I mapped out these couple of locations and all that was left was getting Lord text transformed into Melana speech. As you may have already guessed, for this I used Eleven Labs to generate Melana voice based on her in-game voice lines, then scraped some internet for lore data. And there you go, Melana as a tour guide. Additionally, I did implement some bare bones logic that prevents lore being spammed every time you reach the same location. Meaning you don't want to be hearing about Limgrave every time you TP there. One more thing, you can also just ignore the prompt by hitting a hotkey. To conclude this one up, there are definitely some things that could use improvement. AI object detection would probably make the app more reliable. Also, it would be nice to make the audio samples more robust. Maybe even some real-time audio generation rather than pre-generated audio samples. This would make it so you don't get the same lore samples every time. 
But if you would like to mess with that, code is linked in the description. Good luck. If not, here's the demo for you. Welcome to Limgrave Tarnished. This lush green region is the starting point for many adventurers and is rich with history and intrigue. Despite its serene appearance, Limgrave is a land of civil unrest, with factions like Godric the Grafted Soldiers, Demi-Humans, and Misbegottens vying for control. The Tale of Margit, the Fell Omen, also known as Morgoth, the Omen King. He is the son of Queen Marika and Godfrey, first Elden Lord, but unlike his sibling Godwin, Morgoth was born an omen. Welcome to Leonia, Tarnished. This westernmost region of the lands between features vast forests, sheer cliffs, and ever-present fog, with much of the area sinking into a lake. Renala, once a young astrologer at the Academy of Raya Lucaria, always chased the stars. According to the Stargazer heirloom, she eventually encountered a full moon, either inspiring her to develop lunar magic or bestowing upon her its power. Welcome to Mogwin Palace, the lair of Mog, the Lord of Blood. After the Elden Ring shattered, Mog escaped his confinement and seized a shard of the ring. Establishing his domain deep underground, he quietly amassed followers including the Sanguine Nobles and the Tarnished Group, known as the Bloody Fingers. So, if you want to turn Melina into a tour guide of Elden Ring and have the lore delivered to you by your maiden, just use image comparison. 